Thank you, Max. Flooding was a big concern for the windward side pretty much the entire week long. After all this rain, the area was hit hard on Monday, seeing the most rain on the island, 10 inches. And that was just the Monday-Tuesday time frame, and it's continued. Nikki Shenfeld back out there on the windward side to tell us how things were looking today. This is an example of why officials are so concerned about this Kona Low. You can see how saturated the ground already is, so any additional rain coming down can easily lead to runoff right onto the roads. After being hit with nearly a foot of rain earlier this week, officials cautioned windward residents ahead of Thursday's Kona Low. When the soil is already saturated, so you see a lot of things like the trees falling, so we had a fallen tree on Like Like this morning. We had a fallen tree back at that Kalaniana Ole point by Kapa'akoi Road. Officials encouraged people to stay off the roads. The Hawaii Department of Transportation had one of its engineers in the city's emergency operations center monitoring conditions. One lane was closed after downed trees and mud were seen on Pali Highway. Crews were busy clearing that while other areas like Kapa'akori near Kalaniana Ole Highway and Loop Road in Manawili remained closed. We do expect that, especially in the areas where we've had to remove trees, that dirt could become an issue if it continues to rain. Windward residents seen cleaning up from the week's torrential rain. The thought of more downpours has been worrisome. All of that water comes from the front all the way back here. It floods all the way back here, but it floods and almost, it always gets so close to getting into the, into the house here. And it also runs through my garage there so profusely that we have to brush constantly so it doesn't go into our our kitchen door to get all the debris in our house. Kailua Beach was nearly empty as most people stayed out due to a brown water advisory. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Nikki, 